This is the reassembly of the LCT receiver base Daytona gun AKS 74U. First step we're gonna have to reassemble the front end because the gear platform will prevent a barrel involvement. First thing you need to do is slipping in this barrel, the flat surface on the top. Just slide it in. You have to wiggle in. Okay, next step, take the magazine, put it in. It won't fit. Adjust the receiver. Adjust the barrel until it fits. If it catches, excellent. Now just tighten, tighten up the receiver top. You might want to do Loctite on it. I'm not going to do it right now. Don't over tighten it, okay? As soon as you can't feel any more tightening, like, stop. Okay, next step, you're going to take the top cover, put it back. Slide this up. Goes all the way over. This secure. Use the 1.5 millimeter iron, the the set screw, and put it in. This is the one, of the shorter ones. Okay. Take out the magazine. You don't need that. <coughs> Just slide it in. Once again, if it's tight, like, and stop. Okay. Next step. Lower hand guard. Lower hand guard. Comes like this. Slide the front end. Make sure the barrel, the the uh, what they call a delta ring, for the M16 goes in. It has to go barrel in. Next thing, top cover. Same thing. Remember, smaller one goes front. Bigger one doesn't go. Okay. Smaller one goes front. Slides in. The top should hold each other together. Like if I press it here, it shouldn't come out. Okay, next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna stick your flash your glass top front side in before you screw in and completely this is the step to do windage adjustment. This is the only way you can do windage on this gun. The shifting on the AK series doesn't work on this gun. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. You need like a basically a laser or one of those lasers thing. Okay, just screw in with the Allen key. Remember, this the one I'm screwing right now is the longest one, 1.5 millimeter one. Once again, if it's tight, stop. The CT receiver, you really gotta watch out for that screw. This one is the shorter one. Once again, tight, stop. Next thing, push this flash lighter clockwise facing the muzzle. Remember to hold this tab here, push it down. Okay. And just screw in. Once you reach the bottom, like here, just click, and it's good. All right, well, front end's done. Now let's go to the rear end. Rear end gearbox goes in. I assume you do not fiddle with it. If you did, such as if this piece fell out, I'm just gonna take it off because it's a really common piece that's gonna fall off. So the spring. The bigger half goes in with the, the catcher holding on to the trigger. Okay, just so. Push the spring all the way down. And well, insert a second one. This is the auto sear one. Hold it so engage. Hold this, and just push the tip in. And there you have it. It's done. Okay, don't take this down because you don't need it. It's not that hard if you do, just take pictures before you do it. And that's it. Slide this in. Just push it in. That is happening soon. No, there isn't. Okay, front end goes in. Slide back. Push it down real hard. Set your set screw down key. Use the two and a half milliliter one. And use this screw, the one you came with, the one that doesn't strip easily. Now what you're going to do is you're going to look underneath. There's a hole in the bottom here. There you go. She's going to put that in. Once you got it in, just keep screwing until it's tight.
Am I actually swimming? Yes, I am. It's not screw tight right now. It's taking longer than usual. Sorry, I'm just going to take it out of screen. Because I don't really normally do disassembly watching the camera screen. There you go. It's just a little. Okay, once that's done, check the internal. Should be like so. Next thing you're going to do is. You're going to put the trigger, the selector in. Selector, there's a tab, there's a second tab here. Okay, it goes on here. You put the tab in, watch how it goes. You gotta push down the both hammers, slide the second one in on 90 position. The circle here, circle. the circle here. Gotta take care of that pole and just push it in. If you're wondering, watching YouTube right now, you don't understand, that's because you're not only one. Just keep it on auto or semi, your choice, but not on safe because it can get in the way. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna reassemble the gas assembly. Gas assembly, this one, and the trigger. Make sure the plastic's on the top still, goes in. You can take care of the screw first, but I will work about the gas one first so I just screw in. Once you get it tight enough, use this. Get it tight. And tight's good. Don't over tighten it. Push it down. Use the 316 to screw this down. Just fiddle well until you get it. Not yet. There you go. Once you get it, put it on. Remember, this is the 316 one. Just get it really tight, okay? Until you can't feel the the grip wobbling. Okay. Once that in. The release valve, turn 180, push it down, watch the hammer spring, okay, those both should be able to, if you're on full auto, they should be even, okay, if it's semi, the one that's coming closer should be down, safe, they're about the same level, okay, next step, boat carrier, push this in, let's go this way, push it down, turn it 180, slide it forward, voila. Okay, next step, turn straw 180 upside down, close in, um, put, put the gas tube thing in, slide it back, once that's done, just push it in, good, slide it forward, and with the recoil string, you stick this forward, and it in, check, safety check, full auto, Good. Just basically, you can wash down there and see if it's the the gas release working. Semi work. Safe. Doesn't press. Semi works. Charging handle test. Good. Close the cover. Push it down. Down. And really, you just have to give it a smack. And there you go. Your gun's done. Safety check. Release it. You should have a click. There you go. Next one, semi, should have a click. Good. Safe. Good. Alright, perfect. Job's done. It's done. Enjoy.